suggest it could cooperate with those possible probes. The White House has and will continue to apply with fair and legitimate um, oversight because we are a White House that respects norms and the rule of law. But I think that, you know, the American people didn't vote for Congress being used to conduct political vendettas. Joe Concha, author of Come On Man, joins us now. Her message is that the White House is going to comply, but the American people don't want these investigations. Wow, that really stood out to me, that, that one sound on tape that you just played there, uh, Carly and Ashley, as far as the American people didn't vote for Congress being used to conduct political vendettas. Wow, that's very interesting. Uh, any hearings into the Hunter Biden laptop, the contents of that laptop from hell that, that included influence peddling in countries like China, Ukraine, it is not about a political agenda. It's about seeking to determine, and this is important, based on the emails they're in writing on that laptop that have been verified, if the sitting president of the United States is compromised by those countries, most notably China. You remember one of those emails talking about 10 percent to the big guy, Tony Bobolinsky, Hunter Biden's primary business partner, said is that absolutely Joe Biden was the big guy. So if he's getting kickbacks, then that's something I think we probably want to look into, considering that China is arguably our biggest adversary. And, and you know, and after the January 6 hearings, by the way, that didn't even allow for cross-examination of witnesses, uh, hearings that were produced by, what, a former TV uh, president and, and, and ABC News president for dramatic effect, uh, folks like Dunn are the last people to lecture anyone about political vendettas after what we've seen over the last year, Right, Ashley. and then, Joe, here was President Biden's response when asked about those possible probes. What's your message to Republicans who are considering investigating your family, and particularly your son Hunter's business dealings? Lots of luck in your senior year, as my coach used to say. Oh, well, what do you think, Joe? My, my, my coach told me that the same thing uh, uh, in my senior year going into it, baseball and football, Wayne Valley, Jersey. Uh, I, I have no idea what that answer meant. I, I've tried to dissect that several different ways, and I know my sports analogies. Believe me, I guess what he's saying is, yeah, whatever, go ahead with where you're going to have to. You know, it's not going to have any uh, impact on my presidency moving forward. I have a feeling uh, that will not uh, be the case here because th this is serious stuff, uh, as I just laid out, and, and the president knows it. All right, Joe, uh, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is warning Democrats that despite an overall better than expected showing, working people continue a long trend of voting more often for Republican candidates. He goes on to say Democrats have the right answers, but the wrong attitude. He said that in a USA Today op-ed that was just released. I guess when it comes to what he just said, as the old adage goes, where you stand on an issue depends on what side of the aisle you sit on. What's your reaction to it? Good adage. That, that one I understood. Uh, yeah, he says we're on, we, we have the right solutions, is what Mayor Adams says. D does that include cashless bail that allows violent criminals to go back out into the street to commit these crimes over and over again? Does that include taking $1 billion out of the New York City Police Department, like Bill de Blasio did when he was mayor in his second term? So I'm not sure those solutions are working too well. And this is the same Eric Adams, by the way, who right before the election said that the media was sensationalizing skyrocketing crime and murders in his city of New York. So, look, Lee Zeldin didn't win in New York. That was one steep hill to climb, right? Uh, Andrew Cuomo was 60 percent of the vote just four years ago. Bill de Blasio got reelected with 66 percent of the vote, uh, despite his horrific record on crime. So Zeldin had to make major inroads in a very, very blue state. But, but the problems are still there, like we just talked about, and people still don't feel safe, regardless of who controls the Senate or who is governor moving forward, because she won by a couple of points. So, yeah, until they change course in this city, particularly as it comes to enforcing the law from district attorneys uh, like Alvin Bragg in Manhattan, we're just going to continue to see the same horrific videos and, and reports over and over again, guys. Yeah, you wonder, Gals. I mean, what is going to change? I mean, I would argue that they have the wrong answers and the wrong attitude, but that's just me. Joe, thank you. You're correct. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.